A lot of differing opinions on this Singapore summit between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. I think it's a great thing that the president of the United States could get a North Korean dictator out of North Korea. People on the left don't think so. They think that it gave North Korea a chance to stand next to the United States on the world stage. I happen to disagree with the left. I happen to disagree with the globalists. But let's see what somebody who actually worked in these regions thinks. Somebody who was advising presidents, giving them intelligence to go into these meetings and understands far more about this than many of the pundits out there. My good friend, Scott Eulinger, retired CIA station chief. Scott, great to see you again. Hey, great to be here, John. This is a win, right? I mean, any way you slice it, this is a win for the United States and the world because I don't care if it's only three days. There are people now on the Korean Peninsula, Seoul, like the president said, a city of 28 million people. We have 32,000 troops on the 38th parallel in Korea. These people are resting a little bit easier. We're getting nukes that there isn't going to be a conventional artillery attack anytime soon from North Korea, right? That's right. Very much true. I mean, the uh, the summit was, uh, you know, rather limited in its scope, but it still was great progress. I mean, this is the uh, this is the first time that uh, both leaders, uh, both national leaders of both countries have ever met. And it's a good thing. And there are people who can say, all right, well, it gives him uh, gives Kim too much legitimacy and all of that. However, I believe that by doing it this way, which is Trump's style, because he wants to be the deal maker, so um, he was able to cut through considerable diplomatic red tape. When, uh, just look at the fact that this meeting was scheduled in about six weeks. That is virtually pull, impossible out in the foreign policy world. Right, he, That's he right. scheduled, he pulled, they pulled out. out, they sent Pompeo twice, he pulled out, and they still made it happen on schedule. That's right, the speed of this happening is yeah. incredible, and it shows that he is, is because he isn't well versed in the foreign policy establishment, that's actually a good thing because he thinks outside the box, he cuts to the chase, and as a businessman, he wants to see results. That's a good thing. And by meeting personally with Kim, he understands the need for personal connection. Having done business in Asia, that's very important. It's a good uh, idea to look your look your adversary in the eye when you're making the deal. But it also is a good cycle applies psychological pressure to Kim, I think, because it makes it harder for Kim to pull out of a deal because he's sort of made a personal commitment to Trump. Now that's not saying that they won't they could possibly backtrack on any deal. The North Koreans have a, a long history of this and and Trump is certainly aware of that. However, it, it will make it that much more difficult for him to risk the ire of Trump. And he well knows about the ire of Trump because he's been he's been reading the president's Twitter attacks and he understands that the president means business here. So he's going to really think twice, I think, about backpedaling, although we still you know, I'm cautiously optimistic. We still have to keep that in mind as a possibility. Go to the App Store, download the Rebel app. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.